That is so sneaky. They've just hidden it in completely plain sight. Welcome back. Today I've got a puzzle that I'm very excited about, which is in the bag here. It comes from the Two Brass Monkeys, aka Steve and Ali, here in the UK, and this one is known as the Tricky 8.8 .8 Bolt, or more commonly known, I believe, as Ali's Bolt. So the aim here is to take the nut off the bolt. This one does date back to about 2015, but it's the first time we've had it here at Crux, so come and join me as I try to solve this, presumably, pretty tricky puzzle. So, I believe this is made from an adapted coach bolt and it's actually bringing back memories because I had to drill through concrete to embed eight of these recently and it was a pretty painful experience. This has got a little hole in it with a screw and that's certainly not standard on these bolts so it looks like a little Allen key fitting or something and that's an adaption that they've done but other than that, I can't really see too much that has been changed about this. So it's gonna be really interesting to see. I have no idea how difficult this is. I'm thinking it might be quite difficult from the two brass monkeys but let's get into it and see if we can remove this nut. Okay, let's push this over to the side. So there really isn't that much to see on this puzzle. We've got this and certainly on some of the other trick bolts that I've done, they've been really simple and it's simply been a matter of finding a way of twisting them to release it. But this one, I don't seem to be able to get any movement on it at all. I could try spinning it, always try spinning. Although I don't feel that's gonna be the solution in this case, but you never know. Um, I don't think there's any, I don't think there's any tapping or anything, any hitting involved with this. I'm trying to look for clues. Maybe this end doesn't twist. There's definitely no movement on that. Um, all right, I don't know. So this is, I mean, there's very marginal movement in that, but there's not really anything that's going on there. So I don't know how many times you can twist something backwards and forwards in the hope that it's going to suddenly magically come off, but I think I've covered that. This is really looking like it's gonna need an external tool, this um, Allen key screw here, but I'm pretty certain that we're not allowed to use any external tools on this, otherwise it would ruin the puzzle. I'm trying to see if there's any way we can, there just doesn't seem to be any moving parts on this. I just can't find anything that is going to give. The one thing I did think about was that they've got this puzzle called the Hokey Cokey Lock, and spoiler alert here if you haven't seen the Hokey Cokey Lock, but the solution for that one is you twist off a little bit of the actual loop of the lock, and the key's completely redundant. There's, there's no way of actually using the lock. It twists on the actual loop, and their machining on that is so precise that you can't see it. So I'm now trying to find if there might be some kind of machining on the on the bolt here that is just so well hidden that I can't seem to find it, but just no movement anywhere. Like I feel that's gonna be what it is, is some kind of twist on this thread. But it just doesn't seem to be, unless there's something to release it, some kind of catch or something internally, but there's a little bit of rattling, but it's all coming from the nut there on the bolt. There doesn't seem to be any internal mechanism to it. And also I'm keeping in mind when I'm doing this, that this is made from an adapted bolt. So this is just off the shelf bolt that they've adapted somehow. So I'm trying to think what they can have actually done to it. Like I was thinking maybe there's some kind of maze inside the nut here that we've got, but we, there's not even a starting position. We don't seem to be able to get into any starting position at all. If you have any ideas um, at this point, drop them in the comments and see if you get it right. But Actually, down the bottom here on the head of the bolt, I'm not sure if that's how they're made or not, but there's a ring all the way around the top, and then the um, the rest of the the top of the bolt there is like separate, as if it's two pieces. I don't know if that's normal or not. On the top here, TY 8.8, .8, so I guess that's where it gets its name from, the 8.8 .8 .8 bolt. Doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, I can see, I can see a kind of, oh, okay. Something's moving. Check this out. 
So I noticed there was a thin line around the center of this and I can actually get this to twist a little bit. It seems to kind of lock it, oh no. Okay, so we've got a bit of movement here at the top. So if we twist that, do we, no. What's happening here? So that's twisted. You can twist. So it's like a lock unlock. Oh no. Okay, it's just carrying on going. Let's see what's going on here. Let's twist this. Let's keep twisting it. Seems to just be completely unscrewing now at this point. So sneaky. It's coming out. <laughs> okay, and now look what's on the end of here. We've got ourselves an Allen key. Let's see. Yes, okay, there we go. That is so sneaky. They've just hidden it in completely plain sight at the top there. Two brass monkeys again. So we've got this little screw here. Let's have a look. There's a little indent on the bolt here. So obviously that screw just sitting in the indentation there, locking it out, meaning you can't open it. Pretty simple mechanism to actually unlock it in the end. Um, nothing too crazy, but that is classic two brass monkeys <laughs> hiding it at the top. We've locked it out with the machining for this. I don't even know how you would do that. I have no idea. Um, so that is why I am not designing puzzles. I'm just solving them. But what a cool little puzzle. What a li nice little bolt. That one's got a pretty unique solution. I've never come across this before. So another sneaky puzzle from the two brass monkeys. I really love the solution to this one. And I don't think it took me as long as it would have done if I hadn't ever come across their work before. I was looking for these like machining um, intricacies that they've hidden in some of their other puzzles before. And definitely the most interesting of the bolt style puzzles that I've ever done. Um, really cool and certainly more tricky than some of the other ones. If you do want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description down below as always. But thanks so much for watching. There's some more puzzling videos up here, but that's it for today and I'll see you in the next one.